now let's see how to customize the existing processes uh, existing processor so most of the time i think if you are to write any pipeline you will be mostly you are uh, you will be uh, overriding the existing processor okay so our processes how can you do that okay first thing okay so assume that uh, let's take an example that we want to uh, uh, override the site resolver method uh, class okay site resolver process okay so uh, what first thing which we have to do is you should be knowing what is the uh, process which you want to override okay so what whatever process which you want to override first of all we have to inherit that in your custom class like this okay then whatever the cost uh, there uh, the the constructor that you need to override so once you inherit site resolver whatever the constructor which we need, which is required that you have to create okay then you have to write the process okay and if you uh, have the uh, argument methods okay argument which are customized then you have to create a custom class where you will inherit it we will inherit the class which is required for the uh, the, uh, the the process which you want to override like this in this example i am overriding the site resolver for which the http request arg is the argument okay so we are uh, passing it directly if you want to customize it in the last example we have seen last uh, slide we have seen how to write a custom argument class so accordingly you will create a custom argument class where you inherit this http request arg and you will pass it so this is how you will write the process and within the process you will write the logic okay so whatever the new logic which you will write here so this is the example of a site resolver so assume that i am want to uh, i want to customize the site resolver so what i did first i have created my own class and in a site resolver i created the required uh, constructor and then i read, i have written the process class and that with that process class i have pass the http request argument which is required by the site site resolver okay and then the logic whatever is required inside added inside that process method how will you uh, override that in the configuration okay so this is very important you have to create a patch file okay in the patch file you have to see which which uh, action which you are you are trying to uh, override so in our case it is a site resolver which comes in the http begin request okay so in your uh, patch file you will see here site for pipeline http request begin so i am trying to override the http request i am trying to modify the http request begin request and what i am trying to modify is the processor okay what processor i am trying to monitor uh, uh, customize i am trying to execute the processor instead so patch instead instead of site resolver i want to execute my own uh, own uh, class uh, own action so here you see patch instead you will have a type my custom site resolver and define the whatever the dll which i am creating so patch instead processor which is site resolver site kernel so what it will does it instead of site resolver it will render the, it will execute the custom site resolver patch okay so let's summarize first of all you create your own processor and inherit processor class which you would like you which you would want to customize to or override so here what we did the same thing custom site resolver read uh, we are uh, inheriting site uh, site resolver okay then you need to use the same argument class which you want to override or you need to inherit that argument class in your own class so here is the example processor i'm using http request argument because that is your argument class for the site resolver so i am using the same thing okay then you need to create a patch file which will override or extend existing pipeline patch so this is your pipeline okay http request begin in that there is a class called site resolver which i am overriding with my custom site resolver so these are the three steps which we have to execute for any uh, pipeline or a processor to be uh, override or uh, you execute your own custom logic so most of the cases okay you might not be writing a new uh, pipeline but you will be overriding the existing pipeline so you have to see what are those pipelines like you have to go where in this pipeline what class you are trying to use it what are the arguments used for that class so all those information you have to collect and then you have to create this uh, custom uh, class
हर एक रेस्ट ऑफ प्रोसेस है 